I don't know how I feel about Veronica. This is the 2017 film. And it is a Spanish film. I have said it before and I'll say it again. I love foreign language horrors because that inability to understand what they're saying, even with subtitles, um, obviously if you just listen to them, it gives it an extra element of suspense because you're not 100% sure what's going on some of the time. And that certainly creates an atmosphere for me as a as an individual who can only speak one language. Um, the narrative itself deals with a Ouija board. And as a spiritualist, I find it an interesting trope, but it's rare that it's done well. And in this case, it's done reasonably well. But it's not exactly what I would call a brilliant example. And I've seen this several times. And I think the first time I watched it, I enjoyed it more. And then on reflection, I feel like it's quite powerful. It's quite scary. But actually, in hindsight, it's not that unique and not that amazing. So, set in Madrid, 1991, and to quote IMDb, a teen girl finds herself besieged by an evil supernatural force after she played Ouija with two classmates. It is actually really good, like just viewing it as a film on its own. But then you look at other films that have attempted to do something similar and it's just kind of mediocre, a little bit creepy, very atmospheric. I do think in terms of actually ticking all of the boxes at making a horror film, they've done a great job. Um, Veronica as a character played by, oh goodness, Sandra Escasena. I apologise if I've mispronounced that, as I said any language that isn't English, I'm going to butcher the pronunciation. Really well performed, very well acted. The narrative is, it's interesting. It, like, it's it's not unique, but if that's the kind of thing you like, then you'll probably find it quite engaging. It develops reasonably well. I have no issues with that aspect of it whatsoever. I just feel like maybe I shouldn't have watched it the second time because then I would still have a much, I would still have this fonder view of it. No, I just think it's all right. I'd happily recommend it if you're a horror fan. It's not the most terrifying. You can watch it with the lights out and you won't be able to not sleep. Sorry about the double negative. You will still be able to sleep. Veronica, worth watching. Not amazing. But still pretty decent.